parent, I will never understand some of Katie Proudfoot's behavior after her son vanished allegedly from their home in Henderson, Tennessee. Katie and Chris said all they want is for Sebastian to walk through the door. No words can describe how much they want for that to happen. Walk through the door, to what? To see that no one is home. The Proudfoots have packed up and left, so what does that tell us? Do they know he is not coming back home? I've stumbled across some of Katie's old Facebook posts. It might be irrelevant since they are old posts, but I still think it's worth sharing. In the first one, she asks if anyone has a wood chipper to lend them, as they have some trees to drop. I've seen speculation run wild with this post, even though it was posted about a year ago. Makes no sense that it has anything to do with Sebastian's disappearance. Also, the amount of evidence that would be left behind if you used a wood chipper to dispose of someone, it's a bit crazy. The other post that started circulating was posted during COVID, January of 2021, when schools were using the hybrid system. During this time, students split their in-the-classroom learning with online learning at home. So, the kids only attended school a few times a week, and not every day. Katie posted on Facebook asking for help for someone to watch Sebastian. The post reads, Good morning, I was wondering if anyone is doing childcare for the hybrid children. I work Monday to Friday, but my son only goes to school two days a week, so I am looking for someone who wouldn't mind keeping an eye on him those days he isn't in school. If you may be able to help please PM me, thank you in advance a few months before that, she put out another post asking for someone to help with Sebastian. It reads, I am looking for someone who is available for after school care 245 to 6, Monday to Friday starting in the next few weeks in the station camp area. Child is 11. PM if you might be available to discuss details. Thank you in advance. Now the internet is a scary place, and to ask strangers to watch your child is worrying. Did she vet these people properly? Was there someone watching Sebastian during the days before he vanished?